Hey guys, Cap Collects here, and it's time for another awesome, awesome doll review. And that is going to be on part three. One, two, three. Yeah, oh my god, sorry, I just had to make sure. Part three of the Movie Magic core doll line. And the third doll I'm going to be reviewing right today is oh, Starlet. Because we all need a little bit of a diva in our lives and someone who just loves the spotlight. So yeah, so basically have her inbox and everything. So far, um, I am loving this line. I think the dolls are really awesome. The is unique. And honestly, she was the one I was most worried about, I'm not gonna lie, um, just because initially I didn't really like the kind of like outfit she came with and like I, I wasn't really sure about the face makeup, but now I'm starting to like really feel her and like her vibe and I'm so about it and I like love it. So I'm excited to get into this. Um, all right, and then after this one, I also do have Mr. Rex still left back there, and she will be the final one for the core line. So, can't wait to finish this one so I can jump over that. But alright guys, get a good look at the box. Alright, as you can see, it's the same kind of portrait style that we have um, with the other two dolls. And you got the 25 plus surprises, two outfits, OMG Movie Magic, um, collect all four, which yes I did. Um, you got the starlet, turn to the side, it says starlet. Other side. You know this stuff still haven't really done anything about that yet and then oh, whoop, on the back has her two outfits all right the really kind of pop art one and the one kind of like black and white sitcom you one um so uh yeah all right let's open her up first things first here is her little um movie theater look all right so it says madam director i'm ready for my close-up awesome love it all right then you got the little kind of like cinema thing here all right, you got a little like crowd, all that jazz. Turn it around, and this is her set. So very kind of like funky and stuff. I see this more as like a dance kind of like thing, like for a music video. I don't necessarily see this as like a film kind of like setup, but whatever, you know, it's still cool, different and everything. All right, and there's like a little floor. Um, she definitely has the most colorful one, I'd say. Hmm. Yeah, pretty much. All right, then when we go down here, See, the, this is the one part I always have the hardest time with, is trying to get this up. Yeah, see, it always rubs on me. The perforation, what it's called, does not work that well. All right, so her box is, oh cool, so it's like an, om, an ombre, ombre type of like setup. So it goes from like a color to like black and white, which I love. Especially after watching WandaVision, I have such an appreciation for like all different like sitcoms and stuff and I love how they really address that. So that was one thing that really drew me actually to this doll, just letting you guys know, was WandaVision. WandaVision, WandaVision, WandaVision. <laughs> Alright, and the other side it's a Starlet and this is going to be her VHS. Boop. So, I'm going to put this over to the side. I legit have them like piled up like next to me. I don't lie, behind the scenes, <laughs> mess. Um, interesting, huh? So this is giving me more of a WandaVision vibe now that I understand. Now that I see what it's called. All right, so hers is red. Her little VHS box and everything, or the actual VHS itself. All right, and hers is labeled as fantasy adventure. So interesting, interesting, interesting. So I mean like when it comes to fantasy adventure and seeing what they're showing us from the black and white to whatever, I mean, I get it. I guess fantasy adventure, so black and white's supposed to be more like Dorothy, Wizard of Oz as, and then the pop art and everything's just supposed to be like, just like pop art and just like, um, just pop culture and everything in general. So I guess that's what it, I get. But when it comes to like fantasy adventure and like showing this, it just give me WandaVision vibes again. Like, what? I'm like obsessed with Scarlet Witch. What? <laughs> because, like, yeah, Fantasy Adventure, that's kind of like what the show was and everything, right? Look how freaking gorgeous she is. Okay, first of all, this is like one of my favorite hairstyles or hair kind of trends that are going on. Is the kind of like blonde um, front strips to like the dark hair. Love it. That was another thing I really loved about her because it's like a very cool trend that I'm like totally about and I wish I could do it. I actually had a guy friend who did it and like he's, oh my god, he's so cool. He made his hair, like basically he did the blonde and everything and then he had to kind of point up and look like little devil horns. So cute. He's very like fashionable too, so makes sense. All right, so we're getting a good look at the display of the box. 
All right, so you got like a mirror going on. You have a little like dressing room type of setup and everything. Cause she's the director. So I guess, oh wait, I never actually went over. So she's the art director and the movie star. Oh, cool. All right. So yeah, so it goes from like black and white to color. That's so cool. I love that little like shift and everything throughout. You got some clothes, shoes, um, photos and everything, little mirrors, stool, all that kind of jazz. So pretty cool, pretty cool. And she got some fabrics in the corner too. So I guess she makes the clothes. That's pretty awesome. I mean, she definitely has that vibe about her. So, all right. And then before we get to the doll, I'm just gonna jump back to the other box that we had before. All right, so as you know, there's always stuff on the inside here. All right, so the poster of her in a two outfits, a little movie reel. And then when you turn it around, I forgot to do this actually with Galaxy Girls, but when you turn it around, there's also like a whole like setup and everything. Hers. I don't know what this is supposed to be. I guess it's just like a poster wall, all different posters and stuff. That's pretty cool. Pretty interesting. I like that. Alright, right, and then there's little movie pieces and everything, little film, thing jiggies. Alright, then she has her brush, a piece of her stand. Oh, this is so cool. So she also has a little headband that's reversible, so it's like black and white on one side and then like really red on the other. So I love that, especially how like vibrant and how like poppy it is. So cool. I love that whole, I love the whole outline thing that she's doing. Like that's like the very, very um, catchy thing about her. All right, so the first thing you see, first scene is Sweet's little sister, right? Oh, oh my God, I love this one. So it's basically like Glinda and the Bad Witch, like Wizard of Oz kind of style stuff. That is so freaking cool. Oh my God, I love that. I'm like really excited for this movie, guys. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I know it's like a kids movie, but like, I mean, like, uh, I mean, the dolls are kids too, I'm gonna say. But still, it's like just so sick. All right, so this is the first time I'm actually getting one of these types of bags with the dolls. So basically, it's like a little paper bag. This is the bag for like their bags. All right, so she has a double sided bag. So right here is a little director type of um, board. This is like Hollywood production, director, camera, date, scene, take. And the other side of it is like multicolored, all right? And then it's black. I mean, it's like black on the sides and a silver chain, all right? Next thing we're gonna go over is this, which is usually the glasses, which are usually the glasses. Oh, girl, a nice cat. Uh, girl, she's a movie star, baby. She's a movie star. Hello. I love these glasses, I'm not gonna lie. They all, I keep saying not gonna lie. <sighs> They're just so fun. I really do love them. All right, then piece of the stand and everything, blah, blah, blah. All right, next thing we're gonna go over are the accessories now that are inside of her little packaging, which, oh, oh my God, like I don't even know. Oh my God, do I wanna go over it now? I guess, yes, yeah, so I'll give you guys a quick little look. So here she is gorgeous as freaking ever. Look at all these colors in her hair. I'm loving that. All right. Love this outfit. That top is like honestly so amazing. Like I'm really probably gonna use that as like her main outfit. I just love it so much. It's so pretty. All right guys. So I have Starlet out of packaging as well as all the accessories um, in their like garment bags and still in their packaging and stuff like that. But let's get into her. So let's go over the accessories first. Actually, first, let me give you a quick little like look at the gorgeous, the beautifully stunning doll that is Miss Starlet. So as you can see, there's all these colors in the back. Her hair is so nice, so soft and everything. There's so much like going on. I'm just loving this little like high bump going on. I'm loving the little strands in the front. <coughs> Excuse me. Loving the little strands in the front. And then of course the makeup, like so freaking cool. The outline look and everything. Very pop art, very fun, very cool. So that is so awesome. All right. And then honestly, the clothes, I love this outfit. That is so adorable. The top is like honestly probably one of my faves. Like it literally is so pretty. Um, yeah, literally love her. All right, and then to give you guys an idea of what her nails look like. So they coming across like white, but they're actually like a light blue. Actually, no, they're definitely coming across light blue on the camera, but they are so, Pretty. Oh my god, I love this color. They like really stand out. 
right? And then she also has a pair of little, small, and I mean small, red socks with little pink dots on them. All right? Cute. Oh my god, this is so, like, cute, this outfit. I always consider all these, like, outfits three outfits, like, all the ones I come with. Even, like, the outfit they start in and everything, I still consider something because yeah, that's, a, that's a cute look. That's, like, a little lounge outfit. Are you kidding me? That's so cute. All right. So, next we can go over the accessories. So, the first thing is her LOL reporter. LOL Bill reporter. All right. In the back. Open it up. Madame Directeur. Starlet. I'm ready for my close-up. Right. And the inside, this is scene one, and it's magical world day. Starlet looks around, surprised. She clicks her heels. Is this her life? She can't believe her... BB, her BB took the, the fierce award. Okay, and the other one, when it's the other, because there's like, shows you two words, basically. The other one is Starlet looks around, happy. She clicks her heels. Is this real life? She can't believe her movie won the fierce award. All right, that's pretty cool. All right, so first thing I'm gonna go over is the shoe box. All right, so she's a red shoe box and everything, and then her shoes are ink boots. And it says, now and, oh, now new and technicolor, or now in technicolor. It's like a phrase, all right. Pretty awesome. Right, open it up. All right, cute, cute. These are cool. All right, so she has these like translucent, glittery heels that are like so awesome. They're like little black bows in the front, and then they're just like I don't know. They're like see-through and like just cool. So I guess the socks are really gonna make it like pop out. They're gonna look like ruby slippers in a way. So. Pretty fun. All right. Hat box. Translucent blue. Let's see. And here are some accessories. Ooh, she comes with it. Oh, wow. There's like so much stuff just like wrapped and wrapped and wrapped. <laughs> Unfold it one way, it's one thing. Fold another, it's another. Oh, okay. So cool. There's comes with a pair of like three glasses. And they're the ones that kind of end right here. Real cute, love that. All right. She also comes to another pair of glasses, which are a nice cat eye with that kind of like comic book pop art effect. I really do like that. I'm actually stuck between the two because I really like both of them. That's cool, she comes with two though. All right, this is honestly one of my favorite accessories. I can use it as many times. I know a few girls already have it. It's a little like Chanel chain purse, but in red and silver. Cute, because she's different. All right, and then the last thing, oh my god, love, love these. Being a comic reader and everything, love that. All right, so you got like a little like thought bubble and then a little like OMG kind of like um, onomatopoeia type of thing. That's really cool. I love that. All right, because she really is like loud. I love that. I really do love that about her. All right, so the first thing we're going to go over is, or the first garb that we're gonna go over is this one here, which is a bunch of numbers, kind of being like a countdown for a film to start. Oh, cute, okay. So the first thing I have, oh, okay, so the first bag and everything, the first garment bag on the inside is for her like black and white outfit. All right, so it's like, it's very old school, very like early 60s, little collar, little puffy sleeve type of thing with lace. So it's pretty cool. I really do like that, especially because, um, like I said before, we're going to say it again. Everybody with me now. WandaVision <laughs> had that whole kind of like outfit um, or span of different styles and everything at the time periods. And so it's cool to kind of see something a little more old school in a more modern doll line. Um, so that's pretty cool. All right. Next bag we're gonna go over is this one here, which is a bunch of little silent film stills because during silent films, they never really set stuff. They would just show you what was supposed to be said during the scene. So it's pretty awesome. 
Um, just in case you guys want to see what's just on it, if you guys want to pause the screen or something, try to read what it says, all the different things. It's pretty cool. This is like a really, really cute piece and everything, right? Really cool, really different. I love that. Okay. And then going to the final garment bag, which is a long one, which is all a bunch of little movie stills and everything. Um, actually, I want to see if this is like 3 days. So I know it's supposed to be like you read one side, one thing, and then another, like, oh, I guess they're kind of 3D, not really, but like, oh, well, it's cool though, because it's like, you see one picture going throughout one way, and then you switch to the other one, it's a whole different kind of thing. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I do like that. <gasps> Ooh, this is so pretty. Right, so we have a pair of cool little movie still, like little leggings, pretty fun. All right, and then you have this really cool top. Oh my God, this is so detailed and it feels such, it feels such a nice quality. Oh my God. All right, this is gonna be her really awesome, like, oh my God, you got like tinsel and all these colors here. You got like OMG on the side, you have stripes here. It's just very colorful, really fun. I, I really do like this outfit. I think that's really cool. <laughs> All right, so let me get her all dressed up in one of her outfits and I will be right back. All right guys, so I have Starlet in her first outfit and it's gonna be kind of like a partial little like, but I'm gonna start with the black and white outfit but before I get to the top, I did leave this one on here to kind of show you guys that there is kind of like a little look that comes out of the, just those two pieces. Um, you know, very fun. It's giving me very like early 60s housewife, like, honey, I'm home. Kind of like, like she's just cute, like very just adorable. Like I really do love it. Um, but yeah, this top, this like top is just so adorable. You know, it kind of goes with this in a way, not 100%, but like all the pieces are kind of very mis mismatch eh, mismatched. So I don't know, I still think it looks kind of fun. All right. Pretty cute. All right, so now I'm actually going to change her top, right? So I switched her shirt out and now she is giving me very, very old school wife. Hello. Actually not old school wife, she's just giving me like just old school. Like, hello, Toto, where are you Toto? Hello. So pretty cute, not my favorite. Very Victorian kind of looking in a way also. I can see it's like a long gown and like girl she's studying science like with Marie Curry but like I don't know it's cool yeah all right and I also do have a pair of these glasses all right which I will pop on right now Ooh, these glasses make me go such a diva I love it walking off set out of here bye guys Peace out. <laughs> so yeah, definitely fun, definitely different. Um, definitely not the outfit I'm putting her in <laughs> for display. But yeah, I already totally forgot to try this outfit on with the glasses, but it looks cute like that. I kind of like it. It's very fun, very different. So yeah, all right. Now let me get a change to her next outfit. <laughs> Another little outfit. That I have like seriously this top is like giving me everything like you could really have her dressed up so nice wearing that top and everything like this outfit like we're just going through I feel that like the decades and everything and this outfit is just adorable even with the little like shoes and everything like honestly these probably would have looked a little better if she, maybe she had a pair of just like heels with a little like open toe or something like that like giving me very kind of just like 90s bad bitch kind of vibes but um yeah all right so that is an outfit that's an option all right now let's bring her over to her main final outfit all right guys and here she is in her final outfit and this one is adorable like i really do love this look at it especially with the pops of color and everything it just looks so fun uh, Oh my god, especially with the color in the hair and everything. 
the top like just, oh my god it's so pretty and there's so much color like i really do like the balance between like the colors and the kind of like black and white type of like um look so it's like really fun oh my god i really love her so freaking pretty i'm gonna have so much fun dressing her up because she has so many different options um but yeah all right and now to top it all off i'm gonna try out both of the glasses on her first we're gonna go with the 3d ones because i feel like those are the ones that are supposed to go with this oh that makes so much sense that's like personality look at that so cute like she's like artsy she is like the queen of art do not mess with her oh my god all right and then with the other glasses, which are definitely gonna be a little more on the diva side. Oh, and I have to put her earrings on too. <laughs> She's like, do not talk to me. Y'all. Mm -mm. I'm better than you. I need to go catch my flight to Dubai. Bye. <laughs> So cool. All right, and then with the little earrings in. All right, and the earrings are cool. I like that. Definitely fun. All right. So yeah, so that is pretty much the doll, guys. She is freaking awesome. This is definitely gonna be a fun one to really kind of like style up and everything um i definitely recommend her uh oh god it's it's so hard because just like each one i see i love more and more like it always happens with these lines like i feel like oh you know there's gonna be one i don't like but i love them all and i'm pretty sure the same thing with misdirect you know misdirect i'm questioning but like i really do feel like i'm gonna fall in love with her but all right guys that's gonna be it for this review i hope you enjoyed hope i gave you guys enough little outfits to look at and everything kind of make your decisions and stuff um but yeah all right so if you guys like the video please give a big thumbs up subscribe if you can i love having subscribers and everything you know i'm gonna put up a lot of more content next coming days with new dolls and figures coming out so i'm excited um and then please like comment i love your comments please i want to hear everything you have to say to me please all right um yeah and even share if you want and if you'd like, please check my Instagram, nerdymore95, where I put up photos and um, kind of share some of my feedback on stuff. But all right, guys, that's going to be it. Hope you enjoyed. I will see you guys next time on Kev Collects. Peace.